Hello, today we're going to look at fractals. Now, uh, there, this is a special fractal called the Cook fractal, where you take a straight line and then you divide it into three even pieces and then you make a, a bump. And each of these segments will be the same length. So here, 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 and here. And now we're at stage one. Now to go from stage one to stage two, we take every segment and now and divide it into three and now make a triangle on each of those segments to get to stage two. Now to get to stage three, what we do is we take each little segment, divide it into three, and make a little bump there. Now, in uh, when we try to code this out, what we do is we use a kind of a tricky method to understand, but it's much easier to just use. Uh, it's called recursion. And here's the code, and I'll try to explain it a little bit here. So what we're going to do is, you should understand this base. Uh, we're just bringing in turtle and setting the speed to faster. And then we're going to make a definition. And this is a, a cook snowflake, where we pass through the parameters length and depth. Uh, so we want to tell it how long it is and then what stage we want uh, to draw our fractal to. Now whenever we use a recursive formula, what we do is we say um, we, we have an initial stage. If depth equals zero, then we're going to go forward whatever our length is. Now if depth isn't zero, so assuming we're not going to start at stage zero, we want to maybe do stage three. What, we, what we're going to do is we're going to go back up and do the cook, snow, cook uh, um, fractal, and it goes back up and references this function. So if it isn't depth zero, it's, we're going to look at the function if we divide it by three, and then we, if we decrease the depth by one. So it'll come back here, check that it's not zero, and then go go to here, divide that length by three again, and decrease the depth by one, and keep doing so until we get a depth of zero, and then it's gonna go forward a certain length. Now, once it does that, then it has to keep going through the other parts of it. So I'll, see, I'll show you what that looks like. So say we have this. Now, uh, if we ran it, it's not enough to actually do anything because we just made a, a cook fractal. We didn't actually tell it to go. Remember, the definition doesn't do anything. So we have to call it, and let's have it go 150, comma, let's, uh, we did stage one and two, let's start at stage three. So if I get stage three, it's gonna look like that. Now we could do it, and now do stage four. Oh, there we go. So this is stage three, and this is stage four. Now let's reset this and clear the shell, run it again, and let's see uh, what this looks like at 150 comma, let's try six. Now, it's quite small, and you can see it's, it takes quite a while to do it. If you put a number much greater than six, you'll be sitting at your computer and watching this uh, take quite a while to get there. But uh, as you can see, it, it's slowly dividing each one into three, and, um, and each of those into three, and each of those into three, and so on, and so on. Hopefully you get the point of what's happening by now. now.